So I don't know if you learned last year. We don't do mock drafts. We don't do social media either. I did take my watch off because <laughs> Spurs Twitter is, is pretty amazing. But, yeah, that we don't get caught up in that. You know, we, we had a job to do tonight. We're excited with what we came out of it with, and we don't we don't involve us. And you think about the floor as well. Um, we always talk about worst-case scenario in, in the draft prep. And, like, okay, if he doesn't hit this ceiling, what is he? Um, what can we rely on? And um, we felt comfortable with both, that they were – you know, high floor players. Um, they had the character to fit in terms of how we want to build and how we, we want to grow this team, but also had high ceilings as well. But we don't want to gamble on the character and we don't want to uh, gamble on the things that we identified as important to our organization and how we grow. And so with these three guys, we don't think we did that at all. We, we think we hit that part, um, but also with room to grow. What we're going to do on this episode is look at some of the scouting reports and kind of projected billboards that I have done, the mock drafts, and see how they fared in uh, comparison to the real thing in the, the the draft the 22 draft so let's get into right into it uh something that i did get right right off the bat in my first mock draft that i put together was the top five um i saw it playing out in no other way i really didn't want to go and make you know four or five different mock drafts uh because this is how i really did see it playing out then if you look at my uh, post uh, combine mock draft 2.0 something I did get right was Mark Williams going 15 to the Hornets I got Jake LaRavia going to the Timberwolves at 19 uh, Marjan Buchamp um, being selected by the Bucks at 24 um, these down here I did not get right but I was very very close uh, in this mock draft I had Wendell Moore going 25 to the Spurs I had Nikola Jovic going 28 to, to Golden State. And I did have the Grizzlies selecting Walker Kessler as well, just at at, uh, at 28, not 22. But when we look at the Spurs draft results, I, I had given you my top six for pick nine. Luckily, Jeremy Sohan was in that top six and it wasn't someone completely out of left field that they chose. Full disclosuring right, right now. When I made this, Terry was in front of, of Jeremy at that point, but Eason quickly kind of, that changed not too long after I made this video. Okay, so, you know, Blake Wesley and Malachi Branham were both right there on my big board for 20. Like I said, I think Malachi Branham, I was expecting him to, to be gone. You know, I was not expecting Malachi to be there at 20. Um, so the fact that he was, and Blake Wesley was also there at 25, uh, made me extremely happy because you know nailed it on that on that pick now something that was pretty cool i thought was that in my uh best case scenario video uh my mock three i barely missed it by one and like i told you earlier sohan and eason were were both 1a and 1b at the power forward position in my eyes um days later after i made this video like i said info came out on eason that moved him down, so can up. Uh, so, you know, in, you know, hindsight, it's pretty easy for me to say that Sohan would be here instead of Tari Eason. But if you look at my best case scenario, I actually do have the Spurs selecting Malachi at 20 and Blake Wesley at 25, right? We ended up not even keeping our pick 38. So it really doesn't matter what we did there. Um, but... I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, someone tweet the Spurs, let them know that I am available for hire. Uh, Brian Wright and the guys on his squad, hell of a job this year with the, with the drafting. Um, looking forward to seeing these young guys get out there on the court. Um, and honestly, a dream job would be for me to be in that draft room, in, in those processes, in those discussions, you know, evaluating talent. Um, you know, helping this organization be successful uh, would be awesome. And, you know, if you want to look at this year's proof in the pudding, you know, not too bad, not too bad job. Uh, so very excited about what the Spurs did this season uh, and very excited about how my mocks and uh, big boards turned out uh, as well. Right. So go Spurs go. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. I've been Coach Rob Trejo Jr. Catch you guys on the next one. Por vida.